Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow Stubborn, but to build for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update and what time is it? It's debate time. It's debate time. <laughs> Terrible intro. I know. But today's video guys is all about Wallaby Holland and today we're going to be talking about the go-kart site. Now the go-kart site underwent an unfortunate incident just a couple of years ago and even though the new speed zone transformation of that area where Goliath is, the shot tower and of course the go-kart's track is around there as well. But the go-kart's track is not being reopened and it looks like the go-karts could be on the way out or potentially confirmed to be on the way out permanently and we're going to be talking about the future of the site and we're also going to be talking about what attractions I could see on that site now before we get started please like comment subscribe please click the notification bell for more videos and also please make sure you share the channel with your friends your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in for our next Q&A session for when we hit 2,000 subscribers I'll say it again We've hit 1,600, we're on the road to 2,000, let's get there. And for now guys, let's get into another great video. <laughs> Theme tunes. <laughs> So let's start with the site itself. So the site itself is home to the go-karts. Now this opened in the year 2000 and it was undergoing a re rename in 2011. So it used the old name uh, from 2000 to 2010 and then from 2011 onwards it became known as just karting. And of course there was an unfortunate incident in 2018. And from what I saw from an article by Loopings, it seems like the go-karts met this pay to ride attraction would be on the way, could possibly be on the way out. Uh, now, obviously, people are going to jump on me and say, oh, it's going to be a brand new coaster, it's going to be a brand new coaster with this, this, and this, and this, and this. Hold on. Breathe. <laughs> um, it may not be a coaster. I don't think it will. You've got to remember, the last coaster they added at the park was 2019. You know, and that was untamed. I will be looking at potential coaster options but I'm also going to be looking at other options as well because it's not just about coasters so please excuse me if I'm not talking about coasters all the time but let's have a debate on what we're going to potentially see on this site so we're going to start on your screen right now Fanda Bidozi now this site is currently home to just the SPNO go-karts However, I could see a number of different things on this site. Now, obviously the site is quite big. So, obviously you've got the go-kart site. You've got any tree areas that you'd want to uh, potentially get rid of. Um, and things like that. I definitely believe that there's a real potential here to uh, invest in some great attractions for the area. Um, and you've got to remember, Goliath is, like, Goliath's last turn is, like, right opposite uh, go-karts, uh, as well as another coaster down there as well. Uh, however, I think this new attraction will be part of the speed zone area. I think whatever replaced the go-karts, I think it will be part of that speed zone section of the park. Um, and there's a host of different attractions you could put on there. Now, of course, Wallaby Holland, as well as Wallaby Belgium, Wallaby Rhone Alpes, and a whole host of other parks around the European continent, is owned by Compagnie des Alpes. Now, of course, they already announced that investments, you know, that weren't expected for 2020 or 2021, you know, they'll be likely cut back. Uh, so I don't think we're going to see a new attraction on this site until at least 2023, 2024. Now think. Of, now let's go on the base of 2023. That'll be about four years since Untamed. If you include 2019, 2019, 2020, 21, 22, 23, then it'll be five years. Uh, but technically, it's it's around four or five years since Untamed opened. Now that would be a good timeline for a new coaster, especially if it's another year, 2024, which means it'll be five or six years since Untamed opened. Uh, so you would expect a few years timeline to be enough for coaster enthusiasts to see another coaster. However, like I said, there are other ways you can go about it. Now, I'm going to stay on coasters for a little bit, just to, you know, give my permission and my premise on, you know, what type of coasters I could see in this area. Personally, I think the only couple of types of coasters I could see, maybe like a compact multi-launch, obviously, Fury at Bobby on Land is a good coaster in Europe, so you know, a coaster like that, a multi launch, would work very, very well. Wallaby Holland, 
Uh, and you've got to look at the coaster count. The current Wallaby Holland coaster count to sort of have a, a clearer idea as to what coasters they are, they could add into this site, especially with the site they've got. They haven't got a lot of types to work with. Uh, they've got the uh, SLC Condor. They've got the Sierra Tivoli, which is Draco. They've got the Intamin Mega Goliath. They've got Lost Gravity, which is the Mac Big Dipper. They've got Avacoma Boomerang in Speed of Sound. They've got Untamed, which is your RMC. Uh, Ibox Custom Remake of Robin Hood. And you've also got the Vacoma LSM Launch Coaster Express Platform 13. So, you know, you've got a singular launch coaster, but they haven't got a multi-launch at the park. So maybe a multi-launch would be a very good fit at the park. And something like Fury would be very compact. It would work very, very well on the site. You could go along the more family through route. Don't forget, Untamed is a, is a massive extreme thrill coaster. So maybe they go a little bit tamer and go for a family thrill. So maybe something like Icebreaker at SeaWorld Orlando. Something like a Premier Rides coaster would work very, very well. I think Icebreaker looks really, really good. So I think something like that would work very, very well. Uh, and it's not too outstretched. It is quite more outstretched than Fury at Bobby Online, which is the Gerstar multi-launch. But this one is a multi-launch, it's Family Thrill, it's Premier Rides, and it would fit in the site perfectly. Maybe not a clone, but maybe just no inversions, but still that multi-launch aspect, and then, you know, custom the layout a bit. Um, and theme it, whatever coaster it is, theme it to a raceway, theme it to a, a, a hot rod car, theme it to something to do with Speed Zone to blend into the new area, because this would technically be... A phase two, and I'm I'm pretty sure World Be Holland when this whole crisis is over will have some plans for that site. Uh, and if it was to be a coaster, it would be a phase two for Speed Zone, because of course, if you didn't know already, Speed Zone is the refurbishment of that whole Goliath area. So Goliath, the shot tower's been refurbished and repainted. Goliath looking all new, fresh. Uh, they cut the color scheme for Goliath and the, with the blue, uh, and they kept the logo the same, but they sort of freshened up that area, make it more included in the area. So, I think that whatever type of coaster, if it is going to be a coaster in that site, something like a multi-launch compact like a Gerslauer or a Premier Rides Icebreaker type family thrill launch coaster, whatever type of coaster goes into that site, I think it would be Speed Zone themed, it would be like a Phase 2 for that area, it would be the massive new development for that area. Uh, and I think that they do a really cool job, theme it nicely to Speed, uh, to speed Zone, um, and I think that it would be a really good themed area. Now, talking of themed areas, that is my second prediction for this site. A whole host of brand new family rides. Now, it could be a couple of thrill rides and a family ride. It could be one family ride and two thrill rides. It could be a whole package of thrill rides. Or it could be a whole package of family rides. Now, don't forget, this is Speed Zone. So, it's mainly raceways. But it doesn't mention just car raceways. They could expand on the theme of Speed Zone into the air. Maybe a pair of Larson Flying Scooters themed to like air raceway or maybe theme them up to look like cars and stick with the car raceway theme uh, throughout the rest of the area and do some fine scooters themed around racing cars for the families maybe you could even if you wanted to not do a package of family or thrill rides and you wanted to do like one main attraction maybe you could put a well themed driving school in there for families i think that'd be a very cool area for speed zone like a little sub area for speed zone like a um a formula driving school kind of thing maybe get some sponsors in and work with them on the attraction because we know we know parks like to work with sponsors for attraction obviously we saw things like the Cabri hero sponsorship when air first opened with the advertising campaign sponsored by Cabri heroes at alton towers um you know urn brew revolution with the old urn brew sponsorship at blackpool pleasure beach both here in the uk um, so, you know, work with some sponsors. We know Ferrari land at Port Aventura. That's a good Europe example of working with a sponsor. You know, get fo get Formula One in. Get them in. Get them theming up the driving school to make it look like a Formula Raceway. Uh, like a test track kind of thing. Um, and I think that a driving school or a junior driving school would work very, very well. And it would cater to younger audiences at the park. Now, we've talked about driving school. We've talked about family and thrill attractions. We've talked about coasters. The other thing I could see um, is a dart ride. Now, in terms of dart ride, I'm not talking shooter dart rides or anything like that. Maybe, like, do a whole themed story and create this dart ride basically as like a tour looking at the history of a fictional raceway company that's sort of become the main thread of the Speed Zone area. Um, and maybe... Do like maybe you're sitting in the race car and suddenly the spirits of the track are 
moving at a faster pace to look like a racing car whizzing through the history museum of race cars. So I don't know, something like that. And I know Garmendale do a fantastic dark ride service. Gangster Grand Ride at Alton Towers looks fantastic, I'm sure. Um, obviously the rumour of one coming to Dollywood for Phase 2 of Wildwood Grove. Maybe that won't be the case now. It looks like that could be a shooting dark ride instead. So... Uh, but, you know, it would have been nice anyway. But Garmendale do some really nice dart ride systems. And I think one of those themed to a raceway museum would work very, very well. Maybe a flying theatre building. Maybe something like a raceway themed flying theatre building. You look at the one at Ferrari Land. You know, you, you notice the quality of those uh, flying theatre attractions. Uh, so something like that would be very, very cool for the area. So that's just a few examples just to give you. Um... Dart rides, family and thrill rides, a junior driving school, a normal driving school, or a coaster. So, you know, there's plenty of mixed balance attraction types that you could fit into that site. You could build a building on the site and do like a nice dart ride. Use the queue uh, already for the go-karts and extend it to make it look more like an attraction queue line for this dart ride. Um, same with the family rides. Split the queue up, split the area up into three separate areas and have... Uh, the flat rides in each or the family rides in each have the whole area with the driving school do like a nice balcony so you can the queue line goes underneath the balcony and then over the balcony get to get into the the station for the ride uh i don't know something like that or like i said you know a coaster would work very very well something like an icebreaker at seaworld orlando or a fury of bobby on land if you want to go for a thrill option um, but like I said, I don't think I'd expect a coaster until like 2024, 2023, maximum 2025, 2026, you know, around those four years maybe. Um, so, you know, I think that 2022 for the Compañía des Alpes company is working on Park Asterix, of course. Um, 2023, I'm not sure, entirely sure where the focus would be. I think they may take a year off just to uh, let the multi-million pound investments, multi-million euro investments settle. Um, but I think that uh, in future years after that, in the next couple of years after that, I think we could see Wallaby Holland become the, the main focus um, of this new development for the go-kart site. So I think the go-kart site will be replaced. I think there's no doubt it will be replaced. Uh, but it's just a case of what, really. Uh, so there we go, guys. So thank you very much for watching this. I uh, hope you liked my predictions. Put yours in the comments down below. I told you I wasn't going to go for just coasters. Um, you know, I wanted to get a real range of predictions. So, uh, you know, thrill rides. I'm sure there's loads of thrill ride types the park could add. Uh, there's loads of types of rides on the market. A frisbee ride. Uh, a disco coaster. Um, or disco ride, maybe one of those inverting frisbee rides, 360 looping frisbee rides. Um, in terms of family rides, like I said, a flying scooters would work. Maybe a Zamperla Hawk, you look at Lumberjack at Canada's Wonderland, that would be a very good fit. Uh, I mentioned the driving school, that would be a great themed attraction for the families and the, sh and the kids. Um, obviously the dart ride would be very good if you put a nice fictional story that runs throughout the speed zone theme and of course the big one for the enthusiasts the coasters and of course like i said i think it will i think if anything it will be a multi-launch in my opinion but i'm not going to go for the usual mac into min kind of thing you know you look at the site and you think it's way too big and it could be way too expensive especially with the stuff going on right now and of course obviously 2022 the main focus will be on uh park asterix's intermin multi-launch so obviously the investments will go into that uh, so obviously Wallaby Holland don't want to go for something too expensive but something that's still going to offer something so something like an icebreaker would be more of a family thrill option like I said I think that's a more feasible option because of course Untamed was a thrill coaster so I think go for a more family thrill coaster that still has the multi-launch element to fill a void in your gap in your coaster lineup. Fury would be good as well like a Fury compact multi-launch Gersla would be good as well for a thrill coaster but I think the more icebreaker route would be better in my opinion. Uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news from update discussing the go-kart site at Wolby Holland. Again leave your predictions in the comments down below as well as your questions for our next Q&A. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.